Hi there, Raj from Refined here, and in this video I'll take you through how you can build a knowledge base site with Refined. I'll showcase some key features that you can make use of, especially for this use case. So I will demo this on Refined for Cloud, but the functionality exists and works the same way if you're using Refined for Confluence on data center or server as well. I'm here on the site, and this is what the end result will look like, and I'll show you how we can get to this from scratch. So we start off in default confluence, and the first step here is to prepare your content for your knowledge base site that you'll create in Refined. So you would need to create the spaces and the pages that go under them, and then you can also group relevant pages together. So it's good practice to use a hierarchy of parent and child pages in your spaces in order to structure your content in confluence in a good way before you add the space to the Refined site. And within the page itself, it's also good practice to make sure that there's not too much information or too much content on it. So it's got just the right amount of content to be usable and still to be relevant to what the user needs to do with that information. You can also use here some macros, which are from our other app, Refine Toolkit for Confluence Cloud. And you can use these to style the content on your pages to make these more consumable and easier to read. So in this example, I've used a steps macro to add some instructions. And then we've got a tabs macro, which can also be used to group content into tabs. And we've got an expands macro. Note as well that the permissions that you set here on your Confluence pages and on the space level are still very important in your Refine site. So Refine respects the permissions that are set in Confluence. And this is a useful way of ensuring that the content that is on your pages is only seen by users that should see that content. So be mindful of setting the permissions on the base level. Let's get into the Refined UI now. So I click on go to Refine configuration to go into the admin UI. And the next step here is to create a new site and to add the structure and build your site using your knowledge spaces. So if I go ahead and add a new site here and create, there we go. So it takes a little while to set up the domain but you can start building out your site meanwhile anyway. So if you click on the site itself, you come into the site builder. And here in the site builder, you can then start out by, for example, adding a refined page. So if I call this one instructions, and you can also then start adding in your spaces. And then the navigation in your site is essentially built by nesting spaces under pages. So if I put the design space under the instructions page, then this is exactly what I will get in the top navigation as well. For the sake of this demo video, I've gone ahead and created a completed site with a completed hierarchy already. And to show you what I mean, if I go to the site itself, the navigation at the top is essentially a reflection of what has been set up here in the site builder. So that's quite important to note. So nesting your spaces under the parent refined page in this way makes it really easy for your end users to browse the knowledge base spaces that you have on your site and easily be able to navigate back and forth. So if they're on one space, for example, they can use the nav menu at the top to be able to navigate to another. And this makes it easy for them to consume the content and navigate your site essentially. A key element of knowledge base sites is being able to visually theme and brand the site to reflect the organizational branding and colors. This creates a sense of familiarity and consistency for the end users that are on the site. This brings us to the third step, applying your theme and branding to your knowledge base site. So in Refined, you can do this in the site builder and you can click here to add a theme to your site. And these themes are all created in the in-product theme editor, which is under the themes tab. 
we have another video detailing how you can create a theme from scratch and we'll link that in the description here. On this particular site, I've also gone ahead and added in a logo. So the logo for the company that this knowledge base site is for. And another good way that you can further brand the site is by adding a custom domain to it. So you can add, for example, for this site, knowledge.newcomp.com to match the brand and to match the parent domain. So the fourth step here is building up your customizable landing pages on your site and adding relevant and useful content to these, which will be used to guide your users to where they need to go. So I'll show you some specific modules that we have in product that can be incredibly helpful in doing this and to enhance your knowledge base site landing pages and in doing so making it easier for users to access information that they need both quickly and easily. So we've got various modules that you can use for customization and in Refined what happens is all the elements that you have in the site builder, the site home, the refined pages and the space homes, they have what we call layouts. And in order to add modules to this, as admin, you open up edit mode with a three dot menu and then edit page. And I've got a default template here, so a default layout that you get in product. But I'm going to go ahead and change some of this around. So what I want to do is add some columns in this section and then add some navigation links in here. So it's incredibly useful with these navigation modules because you can guide your users to where they need to go. It could be spaces or individual pages or blog posts. You can choose to mimic the site navigation setup that you have in your site builder, or you can aggregate information into topics or reasons for visiting, which users can then click on to go to where they need to go. So I'll go ahead and call this one Get Started. And I'll add an icon to this. So let's go with, uh, with that. It's also good practice to align the colors and images that you use in your modules to what you have on the theme itself. So you can use like, for example, hex codes or color codes to add colors from your brand or your theme in here as well. And it generally makes it more cohesive with the general look and feel of the theme and of the site. I'm going to add a link in here and what I'll do is actually add a relative link. So it's going to be linking to a space that's on the same site or same domain. You can also add absolute links. So whole links that are, for example, pointing externally or on the same site. And save this. And then I'll add a couple other modules as well. What I'll do here is I'll add an activity stream as well. And this is a useful module to use in this knowledge base site because it shows recently updated content in a stream format. In a knowledge base site, this is useful to show what content is the latest in terms of creation or editing. So users can access the latest information via the links in this module. You can also filter on different labels or spaces or contributors. And in advanced mode, you can also add a custom Confluence query language query and filter on that. I'm going to add a simple filter where I filter on some spaces. So you can filter on multiple spaces and you just need to add a comma and a space between these. Finally, I'm going to add one more, which is the pages module. And what this does is it's configured to show links to specific Confluence pages according to the filter that you specify. You can display these either as cards or as a list. I'm going to add this without adding uh, any filters because I want to show all the pages from all the spaces on my site. And if we publish this, that's what the layout looks like now. For the sake of this demo video, I've also pre-made a layout that's more complete than this with some more navigational icons. And I'll use the import export function to import this layout in here. This is a really useful function that you can use in your knowledge base sites. If you want to have a similar layout on multiple pages, then you can simply export the layout once you've built it out and import it on a new layout, which is what I'm going to do now. 
So if I go ahead and add that one in and then publish it, here's what my finished layout looks like. So I've got the pages module at the bottom and then I've got a large navigation highlight that's pointing to the support. I've got an activity stream and I've got some useful links as well on the same layout. A useful bonus feature that I'll show you here as well is how you can use permissions on sections. So on the layout in each section you have the option to add a view permission to this and you can either have logged in users and user groups or anonymous users or no permission at all. And this is quite useful in that you can make certain sections available to certain user groups so you can tailor the content that's on the same landing page to the user that's viewing the content. So you can make the same site home for example look different for logged in users versus anonymous users or for two different user groups. You can have two different sections with different navigation items pointing to different links for different users or user groups. Let's take a look at the Confluence page view now and we'll look at the same page that we've taken a look at in default Confluence earlier in this video. So this is what it looks like when it renders in Refined. You have the page tree to the left as per what has been set up in the space. So as we mentioned earlier, it's really useful if you prepare your spaces by creating the hierarchy within them prior to adding them to the Refined site. And then on each of these pages, we have the Refined Toolkit macros and we also have links to related articles, similar to what we had on the default Confluence as well. Next, I'll show you a final fifth step, which is using some extra features in Refine to further enhance how knowledge can be served to your users on your knowledge base. And to do this, I'll go into the admin UI once more and click on audience features. And here we have two different features which would be quite useful on your knowledge base sites. The first one is announcement banners. And this is effective in communicating alerts and important information in the form of announcements to the users of your sites. If I go ahead and create an announcement, I can call this scheduled maintenance. You can choose to add a link to this if you want. And you can also choose where on the site you want it to be. So it could be on the site home, on a page that's in the site builder or on spaces themselves. So you can tailor this to the context of where you want the announcement to be. I'll go ahead and publish this to show you what it looks like and save that. And if we go to the site itself, that's what the announcement looks like. So it's a really useful way, for example, if you have some important information that you don't want any of the users of your knowledge base site to miss, then you can add it as an announcement. And in this example, I've made it closable as well, so it's not overly intrusive. Once I've seen it, I can click it away. The second useful feature that I'll show you is how you can tailor the search settings. So we have what we call recommended links or promoted search results. And what you can do here is you can hard code links that pop up as search results based on keyword searches. So I'm going to do this and add one of the Confluence pages as a recommended search result. And let's call this one versions. So it's linking to the release notes. And the match words could be release. It could also be version. And it could also be latest. And let's go ahead and save this. And then if we go to the site and we search for one of the keywords, then we get that Confluence page as a recommended link, which we can then click on to see the release notes. Finally, I'll also show you our admin delegation feature. And this is quite useful if you want 
people who are not Confluence administrators to be able to administer the knowledge base site. So this could be the content creators who are creating the knowledge base content in the spaces and pages. So they can essentially administer every aspect of the refined sites. They can add structure in the site by adding pages, nesting spaces under pages and so on. And they can modify all the layouts so they can add modules and add links and update these as needed without being Confluence administrators. And it's quite easy to do this. You just click on add refined administrator and then you search for a user and click to add them and then they can log in and administer the site. I hope that this video has been useful for you. If you are pairing a knowledge base with a support site, then you're welcome to watch our video on how to surface Confluence content on your support help centers. The link to this video will be added to the description. If you have any questions for us, you're welcome to reach out at any time via our help center over at support.refine.com. And if you want to read more on our apps and what can be done with them, then you can read this on our documentation site over at docs.refine.com.